Hey guys, it's XX Misery, XX09, aka Skyhead1995. Um, here today in the a on the ALT channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing another uh, comparison video. This time on the ARC 170. Now, um, as you can see, we're in my garage again. Um, I kind of like using the green base plates for this, so yeah. Um, sorry my voice is a little bit um, lower than usual it's because I'm still sick a little bit so yeah um, but I'm gonna take some medicine today hopefully get better before school tomorrow but yeah um, first thing I want to point out is the minifigure difference right here you see all three um, older EP3 pilots and the R4 unit and right here you see the two of the new clone pilots keep the scope and the R4 dash D7 droid I believe. Um yeah. I know I just got done reviewing this set, so yeah. Um one thing I want to point out is the DTO on this set is far better than the DTO on this set. As you can see the blasters on the sides are different. If you compare them, this one's a little bit more realistic than this one. Um, the wings are a little bit um, same design kind of. The symbol is moved up on this one than compared to this one. Also the engine turbines on the ships are different. Sorry guys. Um, I have to move up sim too far from the uh, sets themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. And right here, you see this one, it has a little bit more of a smoother feel to the front of the ship. Whereas this one is more of a rough feel and it's less detailed than this. Um, kind of a little bit crappier done job here in the front. Um, also one other difference is this one, uh, the cockpit can rot I'm not rotate up, but you know that you get you know you get the idea. Um, it can uh, move up and down. Sorry guys, this one's uh, been on the shelves for a little while, so it might be a little bit um, dusty or whatnot. On this one, all three cockpits can move up whereas this one has to can't this one you have to take this one off full and this and only these two you can move up all the way like that and this one you can move the things up on the side See? Major difference from going from this design to that design. Now if you ask me, this is kind of cooler in an instance because it got the opening part of it. But this one, again, with the more detail, I like it better because of that. As you can see, this one it has the double turns, one on the bottom, one on the top. And uh, it can't rotate 360. That's the bad thing, but this one it can pretty much, but it's got this singular turret right here. Um, both of these ships have the trifoil wings. Um, I could show you guys that. Give me a second here. Sorry about that guys. Really I'm trying my best to get this right. I'm trying to make sure I don't break this. Oh boy, wasting a lot of time. Yeah. 
but right here it's a lot more detail on the trifoil opening on this one than there is this one but they got that equal kind of trifoil opening yeah and again the engine detail on this one is far less detailed compared to the detail on this one this engine right here also this one the little thing right here it's white this one it's clear so yeah all in all, this set is pretty impressive, both the new version and the old. Um, however, I have to say this one, again, um, uh, <laughs> the newer sets are 3-0 compared to the old. Which means uh, this one is better than this one. So, yeah. Um, if you guys still have this old one, it's okay. Um, personally, I'm not wrecking this. It's a pretty good set. However, the newer ones, if you guys haven't had any new ones, definitely the set to go buy. Um, definitely a set that you want to get a few of. Um, as well as the Y-Wing and the V-19, if they're still selling those. I don't know about the V-19s, but I know they're definitely selling the Y-Wing still. So, yeah. Uh, this has been another comparison video on the ALT channel. Um, Skyguy 1995, aka Ethics Misery, Ethics 09, um, out. Um, please write and subscribe, and uh, thank you.